In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the domain for rational functions. So domain for rational functions. Rational functions. So a rational function is a function that's a fraction. And it's basically a polynomial over a polynomial. So things like um, you know, x squared plus 4 over x minus 6. That's a rational function. You have powers of x here, and they're all whole numbers, and you're dividing them. Or x plus 2 over x minus, or x squared minus 8. That's a rational function. So to find the domain for rational functions, uh, step 1 is you set the denominator equal to 0, or just set the bottom equal to 0 and solve. That's step one always, solve. Step two, uh, the domain is all values of x except the ones you found above. So except those found in step one. So step one, set the bottom equal to zero, solve for x. Step two, the answer is all of the x's except the ones you found, right? Because basically you can't divide by zero. So like in this fake example here, um, if you set the bottom equal to zero, you get x minus six equals zero. So you get x equals six. So six makes the bottom zero. So the domain is everything except six. In other words, you can plug in anything you want except six. Remember, the domain is everything you can plug in. So you can plug in anything as long as it doesn't make the bottom zero. So by following these steps, what we're doing is we're finding the values that make the bottom zero. Let's do some examples of finding the domain. So domain. So a, let's see, f of x equals 1 over x plus 2 minus 3 over x minus 7. So to find the do domain of this function, we're going to set the bottoms equal to 0, or the denominators equal to 0. So solution. So you set x plus 2 equal to 0, and then you set x minus 7 equal to 0. Then you solve each of these, so you subtract 2 in this case, so you get x equals negative 2. Here you add 7, so you get x equals 7. So the domain is everything except these numbers. Okay, It's everything except these numbers. So to write that down, you can write it in set builder notation. It's a little bracket like this. I just wrote it like this because I was lazy. The set of all x such that, so the line is read such that, and then x can't be equal to these numbers. So x is not equal to negative 2, and it's not equal to 7. So that would be the domain. Sometimes people will do this. x, x plus 2 not equal to 0, x minus 7 not equal to 0, so x is not equal to negative 2, so x is not equal to 7. That's the same thing. So um, but basically you want to think about when these are 0. And then you want to throw away these numbers, because these numbers are not in the domain. Let's do another one, b. f of x equals 2x over x squared minus 4. So again, in this case, you start off by figuring out when, when the bottom is 0. So you set the bottom equal to 0. So then you can add 4, so plus 4, plus 4. So we get x squared equals 4. To solve for x, you take the square root. And so you get x equals plus or minus 2. So domain is everything except these numbers. So you could do this if you like. It's everything except plus or minus 2. So to write the answer in set builder notation, you'd write the little curly bracket. It's the set of all x such that x is not equal to 2 and it's not equal to negative 2. And so that would be the domain. So when you're finding the domain, always set the bottom equal to zero first, and then that tells you what to throw away. Let me do one more. I just thought of one that was tricky. Here we go. Tricky stuff. f of x equals x minus 1, x minus 1, x plus 4. So it's very tempting to cancel, okay? but um, it's a bad idea. Step one is to set the bottom equal to zero. So you get x minus 1 times x plus 4 equals 0. And so here you get two answers. You get 1 and negative 4. So the domain is everything except these numbers, right? So it's the set of all x such that x is not equal to 1 and not equal to negative 4. 
and that would be the domain. If you were to simplify first, these would cancel, and you would get 1 over x plus 4. But then you would get the wrong answer, right? Because then you, you don't get the 1, right? So you would have the wrong answer. So it's really important to follow the steps. Always at the very beginning, just right away, take the bottom piece and set it equal to 0, or think about when it's 0. In this case, in most cases here, you can just look at it and tell. In this case, it can't be 1, and it can't be negative 4. Boom. So you can go straight to the answer uh, if you're able to do that. I hope this made sense.